Hi guys. Question. Have you ever wondered how the Webtoon artists get their long vertical scrolling strip on Webtoon's platform? Like, like were you wondering, is it like one long file or is it like separate files? If so, what's the width and the height? If you're wondering those things, I'm going to show you what I do and in hopes that it helps you. My finger guns because I'm anxious. Let's, let's, uh, let's watch. <laughs> Alright guys, so the program I'm using is called Clip Studio Paint EX, but you can do this across any program like Ibis Paint, Metabong, Karita, Jump, those are free programs, but I digress. How I size my webtoons is I don't draw in one long vertical strip. I draw in still comic page format, just the height is just a little bit longer because I like to stack two panels on one comic page instead of like five panels on one page I'll do two panels on on one page but that's just personal preference so that's how I format my my webtoon pages I don't draw in one long vertical strip I draw in multiple comic pages now you can draw in one long vertical strip because there's plenty of other webtoon comic artists that draw in one long vertical strip I get overwhelmed easy so I just don't draw them that way and for my pages for one episode I usually have sometimes about 20 pages and that's usually two panels per page so if I were to do math correctly two times 20 is 40 40 panels per episode <laughs> so that that's usually what I do now for exporting within Clip Studio Paint EX, they have this really amazing feature which is called the Export Webtoon. Webtoon Export, I believe. Yes, <laughs> Clip Studio Paint has this amazing feature where I can, it will slice my images for me to fit the upload size that Webtoon's platform requires your files to be in. So I click Export Webtoon and I scale the size down to 800, which is half of what my canvas size is, my drawing canvas size. And I make sure that I have the height. Sometimes I'll keep it at 1200, sometimes I'll put it right at 1280, since the upload size for your files for Webtoon's platform cannot be any bigger than 800 by 1280, so that's just what I do. So the webtoons they look like one long vertical stro scrolling strip but they are literally comic pages sliced in half and just uploaded and with webtoons platform it makes it to where you can view it hor horizontally <laughs> it makes it to it makes it to where you can view it and scroll up and down which is great for like mobile apps okay so with all that being said i hope this was helpful if you have any webtoon comic process questions or whatnot feel free to ask and i will do my best to try to answer it i'm still struggling along the way so <laughs> you can trust me but like with a grain of salt because i'm i i'm still i'm struggling but it's fine we're going to struggle together and get our comics made so make sure you're subscribed if you want to see see more of the, if you want to come back and see more of, of this yes <laughs> okay that's all bye guys thank you for watching bye